Alright, welcome back to the channel guys. Today I am going to do a quick review of the ASUS ZenBook Pro 14 Duo OLED. Did I read that wrong? In this video, I'm going to do it slightly differently. I am going to tell you 5 things that I like and don't like about this laptop. Number one is the screen, 14.5 inches, 2.8K resolution, 120Hz refresh rate, 100% DCI P3 color gamut, and OLED, sign me up baby. Even the smaller screen at 12.7 inches is at 2.8K resolution, and 100% DCI P3 color gamut as well. Just unfortunate, it's not OLED. But yes, still thank you for the extra real estate. Number two, the specs, and here you go. 12th gen Intel Core i7 12700H processor with Intel Iris Xe graphics plus NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti dedicated graphics, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of M.2 storage, and then for I.O. you get two Thunderbolt 4 USB-C, one Type-A USB 3.2 Gen 2, a 3.5mm audio mic combo jack, a full-size HDMI port, and a micro SD card slot. Why I like the spec? Simply because I can edit all my videos, I can scrub through the timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro without any lag. So that is why I like the specs, it does what it's supposed to do and it helps me do my work, get my job done quickly. Number 3, remember I mentioned the second screen? ASUS calls it the screen pad. ASUS designed it in a way that it tilts up at the 12 degree angle every time you open the lid. And according to ASUS, it helps with airflow improvement up to 38%. Now I don't know how ASUS obtained these numbers. But comparing to similarly spec uh, traditional laptop, I do feel uh, a little bit less uh, warm. Number 4, the power brick may not be the smallest in terms of absolute size, but I like it that it's thin and light enough. It is also a beefy 180 watt brick that keeps your laptop juice flowing. Number 5 is the price. The ZBook Pro 14 Duo OLED is retailing at 8,999 ringgit. This laptop can literally be a content creator's main workhorse machine. With this spec, this price is definitely justifiable. Now, what I don't like about this laptop, the second screen, although it's nice and high resolution, it is unfortunately not OLED, uh, probably to keep the cost down. So when there's a little bit of clarity difference, it just don't feel nice, right? But it is what it is. Second thing that I don't like about this laptop is the memory card slot. I mean, dear ASUS or for any other brands out there, if you want to make a laptop and market it to content creators, please, please give us full-size SD card slot. All of our cameras in the studio, uh, every other content creator, regardless of what brands of camera they're using, most of them are using full-size SD card. So, yeah, uh, I kind of... Uh, missed opportunity there for ASUS for not putting in the full-size SD card slot in my opinion. The screen pad also comes with a built-in uh, software that ASUS built which is quite uh, nice in my opinion and it has custom uh, profile preset already in the screen pad itself and it automatically brings up the profile whenever you launch a certain content creation software like the Adobe Lightroom or Adobe Premiere Pro. I personally feel that the second screen controls uh, would work better if uh, you are editing photos instead of videos. Overall, based on my workflow, I still feel that I edit faster on a keyboard and mouse uh, rather than using the screen pad's uh, shortcut, but that's just me. Number four is the battery life. The battery life is not actually terrible. It's actually quite all right, I would say. But based on my experience, it is just nice uh, for my workflow. Uh, when I'm editing a wedding video of about four to five minutes uh, length. And uh, I usually take about three hours to edit one. 
So that's what I get for the past three weeks. I do wish that uh, the battery life is slightly better, but given the physical size of this laptop, which is just 14 inch and having to power two high res screen, I think it is as good as it gets. I also did a test where I'm only playing uh, YouTube videos on Wi-Fi, just the battery, it lasted about five and a half hours. It's not that terrible, but I do wish I get more. Lastly, the keyboard and the trackpad. Because of the screen pad, the keyboard has nowhere else to go but down, all the way to the bottom edge. So it is slightly less ergonomic, but I still don't think that is a big deal. The thing that I don't like, however, is the tiny trackpad. Because there's no other place for the trackpad to go, ASUS had to string the trackpad to a tiny one right at the bottom right and it is almost close to unusable besides just uh, navigating through windows and stuff like that. So you have to remember to bring a mouse along if you intend to do any kind of work with this laptop. Right, that's the 5 things I like and don't like about the ASUS ZenBook Pro 14 Duo OLED laptop. I hope this uh, different format is uh, interesting enough for you guys to watch. Uh, if you have any feedback or any comment, please leave it down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I will see you guys again in the next video. Peace.